When Spider-Man Homecoming premiered in theaters, it introduced a major continuity error that has since driven fans crazy, trying to piece together the timelines of the events from the Avengers, Civil War, and Homecoming. So Spider-Man Far From Home wouldn't be the same if it didn't do something similar. What's up guys, Chris Killian here, and how did Spider-Man mess up the MCU timeline again? Obviously, there's big spoilers for Far From Home ahead, so don't say I didn't warn you. In its attempt to explain the MCU after the events of Avengers Endgame, Spider-Man Far From Home creates yet another continuity problem, although it's not as glaring as the eight years later time jump from Homecoming. When we first meet Peter Parker in Civil War, he explains that he's 15 years old. We learn that Spider-Man Homecoming takes place nearly a year later, and he has since started his sophomore year in high school. Now, the events of Avengers Infinity War and Avengers Endgame threw some major wrinkles here. Thanos' snap occurs sometime in 2018, after Peter's Homecoming dance, and Homecoming dances usually go down around September or October, and after his midterms. He then disappears along with half of the population before returning to Earth in 2023. Then Spider-Man Far From Home explains that Peter and his classmates already took their midterms, but yet had to start the school year over despite their progress before the snap, which means the film has to take place in 2024. All of this is fine until Mysterio attempts to offer Peter Parker a beer, and the young hero turns him down because he's only 16, despite being 15 during the events of Captain America Civil War in 2016. So even after the return from the blip, this is still too short of an amount of time compared to the events depicted on the screen. If you're shaking your head and wondering who cares, you're right, it's just funny that a Spider-Man movie is once again the biggest culprit in making a mistake about the timeline. Do you care that the MCU timeline is a little wonky? Tell me in the comments or tweet me at Chris Killian and thanks for watching.